more packages from the post office. And I betcha that these are Nomicron clocks. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to first move these other ones out of the way. I've got a lot of these to do this time. Delivery confirmation. It's obviously been confirmed. I know everybody likes these, so I'm filming some more. Get back in there. Hmm. Big bubble wrap. When cutting bubble wrap, always keep your fingers out of the way and don't damage the item. And yes, it's an Omicron clock. One that I've been looking for for quite a while. Hey, look what they gave me here. Extra copy of the bill of sale. Geez, thanks. Just so I need more crap to throw away, right? And yes, we got a beautiful television model. So it looks like a TV. The wheels seem to turn okay. It's a little dusty, but you know, for a clock that's 50 years old, I can live with a little bit of dust. Part of the fun is restoring them and making them look new again. Okay, priority mail for domestic and international use. From the post office. And surprisingly, with very, very little damage. And this one is from New Jersey. Costed $6.95 to ship. I'll dig deep within. need any boxes for my Christmas packing. Bubble wrap. Okay, this is actually a very, very old nummy prime. And a very rare one. Somehow I managed to get a pretty good price on this. Felt paper. Yes, this is a very old Nummicron. Needs a good cleaning. It has the old original Penwood logo. This actually has a hook here. This is a wall hung nummy con. And it's made out of like a casting plastic, which is known for warping. But this one isn't warped. It looks to be in very good shape. The lens is very dirty, so it's hard to see the numbers. But the numbers are in there and they're in good condition. And the date of the clock is actually inside. Right there it says 1946. I don't know if I can... 
beginning there or not. But it does say 1946 in there on the motor. That's a very old Mummicron, and it's in beautiful condition. Naturally, they all get completely overhauled and cleaned and serviced. If they have a very, very ancient motor, I, I don't run them too much. The ones with the Synchron motors are safe, but some of the very old ones have motor coils, and I would never want to leave them running un, unprotected. They should be fused, and I generally run my clocks on weekends two each weekend just to keep them working, but I don't want to wear them out. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Bubble wrap. And yes, I actually bought two of these. I got such a good price on the one that I said, heck with it, I'm going to buy two. So I have two matching television models. As well as a very, 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 very rare wall hung model. So I'm going to set these aside. next package. Okay, lots more left. At least it's not peanuts. Bubble wrap. Okay, now this is another very, very old mummy crown. I got it pretty cheap because it's cracked there and it had a statue of a horse mounted on top where these two holes are. Sometimes you can find the horses elsewhere. And they're supposed to be plastic fins that stick out of these tracks that go around the clock. Now one thing unique about this model is it actually has a knob on the bottom to set the time, which if I turn the knob and push it in, you can see it's moving the digits a little bit. If I pull it out, I should be able to move the hour. This is a very unique and rare feature. Not too many Nummicrons bothered to have this feature. And it works with a rubber tire, which rubs on the, the digits of the clock. So for now I'm going to conclude this video about Nummicrons.